yeah. So I got Finches. I never in a million years would have pictured that I'd be making this video because I never in a million years pictured that I would be owning birds. I don't know why, I just never pictured myself as a bird owner. I never really cared that much for birds. I don't hate them, I love them, they're really cool. I can really appreciate them, but usually just from a distance. <laughs> so let's um, give you guys a little bit of backstory. As you know, I have egg-eating snakes. I have a male and I have a female. With my male, I found um, an egg source, a finch egg source, because they need to be eating finch eggs, unfertilized finch eggs. They can have fertilized ones, they just have to be pretty early on in the process. But I found a source of eggs for my egg eating snake. I didn't double check to make sure that that source was going to be consistent and that they were gonna have finch eggs when I needed them. So after I got him, I messaged the person that was selling these eggs. They basically said that it wasn't the season for them to be laying eggs. The weird thing is though, that usually happens. They usually stop laying eggs in late August to early September about. So it wasn't really time for them to not be laying eggs yet. So I was kind of confused by that because that is when egg eating snakes go off food. So naturally that's when where finches would stop laying eggs. So my male is sort of skinny. Um, he's not like dangerous, like I'm not worried for his health or anything like that, but I did want to feed him before he goes off food because I wanna really make sure my egg eaters are chunked up. They're gonna be going off food really soon and I wanna make sure they have as much weight to keep them by for the entire winter as much as possible. So the so moral of the story is he needs food now. Problem was that because that finch egg source kind of fell through, I didn't have anywhere else to get eggs, which was so irresponsible of me. I really should have made sure I had at least two sources of eggs, but actually the store I got Toothless from, the owner of that store had finches so they could lay in fertilized eggs for his egg eater. But now he doesn't have any egg eaters at the store because I have the egg eater. <laughs> so I just asked him if he could give us a few just to get us by for a few weeks until we figure out a solution. He gave us two eggs, which gets us through about two weeks. I noticed on Something weird about those eggs. Toothless was not going anywhere near them, he was not touching them, so I decided to crack one open just to make sure everything was normal looking. Turns out it was an empty eggshell. Exactly half of the eggshell had this weird yellow disc that was removable. I mean, it wasn't removable, but you know, you could remove it. It wasn't like intentionally removable. Only half of it though. The rest of it was completely dry. It basically was just an empty eggshell and both of them were like that. I have no idea what that was. I've never heard of that happening before and maybe, I, I can't even, I don't even know. I can't even think of a reason why that would happen. So I needed eggs immediately, like right now. But those eggs were empty. I didn't have that source I was planning on buying from. That left me with getting finches and adult finches fast and that was kind of hard. I was kind of planning on getting finches when I'm breeding the egg eating snakes, but that was gonna be in like six months. I was not planning on it being now. So I had to look at every pet store that I could possibly find to find finches. But every pet store that I looked for them, like local ones, I wanted to not go to PetSmart if I didn't have to. I wanted to not go to Petco if I didn't have to. Every local pet store of mine only had like two to three month old finches and I need finch eggs now. They don't usually start laying until about six months old. To my knowledge, they don't start laying until they're like six months old. Do you mind? So I don't know why I thought of this so Late, but we basically were starting to look at bird rescues because obviously that's like the best situation I'm not going to be breeding them anyway. I need them to be old. I don't want babies I'd be saving these finches and I'd be supporting a rescue So it wasn't just you know a random pet store There was one that was like an hour away from us and I had a really good feeling about them They were this little rescue in this kind of abandoned area So they probably didn't get a lot of traffic. They're only allowing one person in at a time right now So they can accept volunteers as of now. So they are really Really having a hard time supporting themselves and I got to meet the owner I'm pretty sure she's the owner she was very 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 nice so basically I went in and I checked everything out it seemed really good like their condition seemed really really good especially for them not being able to have volunteers I really think she had a lot on her plate and I do think that me taking the finches a responsible pet owner she knows that I'm responsible a responsible pet owner that loves animals and wants what's best for them took such a small bird that like people wouldn't really necessarily think to go to rescues for and it was the perfect situation because their eggs aren't getting Getting wasted by just getting thrown away and I'm not gonna breed them they all get to be together they're all sisters so they love perching together they just love each other and I wanted all three of them at once which I think was just so awesome that it worked out like that they've been there for pretty much their entire lives they're about six months old now and 
should be laying fairly soon. I'm gonna give them lots of calcium. There's this stuff that you can give them. It's this, and it's basically a supplement you can give them that helps them lay eggs. I know you're also not supposed to give them stuff with a lot of preservatives or dye, especially. So all of their food is all natural, and they get vegetables and lots of calcium. So as you can hear, they're kind of noisy. They're not usually, like of course, like they're seriously not this loud like 99% of the time. They just decide to be super honky right about now. Thanks guys, you can stop honking now. So because they honk, I wanted to name them after cars. <laughs> so we have Avalon. Avalon is the whitest of the bunch. She has pretty faint lines down her cheeks and she's also the whitest one. Then we also have Prius. Prius is the one that is like terrified of me as of now. Like she is the one that is always flying around. Like if you see her flying around in the background, that's her, that's Prius. And then we also have Tesla. Tesla's kind of like indifferent. There's nothing really too special about her. She kind of doesn't despise me, but she's also not too lovey-dovey towards me. But you know, honestly, I've only had them one day, so they're gonna warm up. I'm gonna try to tame them somewhat at least. I'm really, really excited for them too. This also might not be their permanent cage. Like it'll work just fine for them. So I'm thinking of maybe getting them an upgrade someday, or there's this one cage I saw on offer up. It's a little expensive. Expensive, so I might not be getting it, but it looks really really nice. So yeah, that is the story of Avalon, Tesla, and Prius. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Instagram. I don't know what those hand motions were. As always, all links will be in the description, Instagram, website, second channel, snazzy stuff like that. So, I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!